We are talking about Minds Eye Comics. It's opening up in Burnsville Center. Shayla Reeves there this morning. And Shayla, we know we've talked with Minds Eye before many times, but this is really a big upgrade for this business. Oh, absolutely. And this is a story that we followed, as you mentioned, for some time. Now they are moving into the Burnsville Center uh, and there's a transformation happening here at Burnsville Center. And before we talk to Eric, the owner of Mind's Eye, we want to talk to one of the owners of the Burnsville Center about some of the cool things that you can check out as part of this transformation. I'm here right now with Ozzy Dress of Wind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so we know that Mind's Eye was approached as one of the business the dozens of businesses asked to be a part of this reinvigoration that's happening at Burnsville Center. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the transformation. Well, you know, we took over um, this past September 2023. Since then, we've signed over 30 long-term and short-term leases. And our goal is to essentially reduce the retail aspect because it's a little hard to look at that, look at a mall right now today as more so traditional retail. And what our plan is to bring experiential uses. So whether it be a sports facility, uh, kids entertainment, restaurants, grocery store, the whole nine. And just in this short time, you've been able to craft some really neat experiences. Tell us about some of the cool things you've been able to host here just in September. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So in January, we hosted the Vietnamese New Year um, and we brought in about 10,000 people each day. It was about a two day event and it, it's, been phenomenal. We've gotten a lot of feedback, a lot of support from the community. Uh, one thing that we want to make sure that everyone knows is that Burnsville Mall is not closed. Well, Burnsville Center is not closed. Uh, and we're, our goal and our plan is to bring in a ton more events as well. And what's so cool about what you're doing here is is you're kind of changing the way that people think about the mall experience. Okay. It's not just uh, the retail space. It's a space where people can come and truly um, have a unique experience. The folks that we talked to yesterday with a Sustainable Safari, they will be one of the businesses that are going to be joining you here mm -hmm. for a second location for them. You grew up, you said, in, in Richfield right yes. and then uh, you've worked in the Burnsville community for more than a decade to yes. be a part uh, lastly of this transformation what does this mean to you it's personal you know I've seen them all in its heyday I've seen them all get mismanaged and you know, now it's a uh, it's new ownership new management and we're excited to bring it back to where it needs to be all right. Thank you so much, Ozzy, course, for being here. And of course, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk to Eric, Eric Childs of Mind's Eye Comics. And we're going to find out kind of what it means to him to be in this space. It's significantly larger than the space where we met him at uh, just a few years ago to find out how he will be able to transform his offerings for customers, what it means for, uh, you know, the future for him, what he'll be able to offer, what he'll be able to do, um, and, and just what it means going forward to be able to have be a part of this transformation happening here at Burnsville Center. All that and more straight ahead in the next half hour, Heather and AJ. Sounds good. Eric's such an interesting guy, so I'm looking forward to that. What a success story. Yeah. Shayla, we look forward to it. Thanks. Mind's Eye Comics now has a new space for people to come and check out. Yeah, they actually recently moved to Burnsville Center to expand and offer uh, offerings for customers. Shayla Reeves is there right now. Shayla, good morning. Good morning to you. Mind's Eye, of course, the first black owned comic book store in Minnesota. And now they have even more space to share their message of diversity and inclusion across the state. I'm here with the owner of Mind's Eye Comics, yes. Eric Childs. How are you feeling about being in this larger space? I am extremely excited. <laughs> yeah, no, very, very excited. So very you did your, your, your soft opening over the yes. weekend to kind of introduce people to what you're offering here. But this space itself is about four times larger larger than what you yeah, had before. It's way more space and it's what I've been looking for, wait, I've been waiting for, uh, just so many things that I'm trying to do that I couldn't do in the previous space. And so. now you are one of the dozens of businesses that is a part of the, the reinvigoration happening here at Burnsville Center. Their mm -hmm. message, their mission now to try to bring people back to the mall, but show them that the mall is, it, it, what we're seeing now, it's a different experience. Mm -hmm. It's about not just retail anymore, it's about creating experiences for people when they come in here. Right, and that's why we make a perfect fit. Uh, we'll be offering coffee, have a coffee bar, we'll have table and seating for tabletop games, trading card games, um, offering more uh, uh, 
things that I couldn't fit in the other space, like apparel and such. So. Yeah, and, and you were telling me some of the things that people will be able to find here. You've got the uh, pop culture apparel, the statues and the large collectibles. You'll be able to offer the coffee bar, the game center, and then hosting the guests monthly from music guests to creators. Um, what people will find on your shelves is truly special is uh, your message of diversity and inclusion. People will be able to come in here, as with your other location, and see themselves on the shelves. Why is that so important to you? It's very important. Everyone doesn't get the opportunity. There's a lot of talent in the world and not everyone gets the opportunity to be able to showcase you know, their stories, their narratives, or see themselves on the page. One so. of the stories that you told me that was really uh, special, you can now connect products from lesser known creatives with customers. There was a lady whose products that you came in contact with when yes. you were looking for this larger space. And uh, you said, when I get it, you're going to be in yes. my store. And just how excited she was to know that her products could finally be somewhere, a physical yes. store location for the first time. Can you share that and what that meant uh, to be able to make that dream real for her? Those connections all is what Minds Eye Comics is all about. Uh, her name is uh, Clara and her brand is Bare Bones. Um, and so we carry her apparel here. When I first met her at a, a trade show, I saw her, her uh, work and I thought, this is gonna be perfect in my store. So we uh, made it happen once I got the larger space and was able to do so. And to see your dream being realized and to see yeah. the support that you're getting, um, I know you had a vision of doing a 5K or bringing a version of a Comic-Con yes. and getting support from yes. management to say, hey, Sure, we're on board with these ideas you have. What right. does that mean to you to see someone supporting a vision that you've had for some time? It means everything, uh, you know, to have the opportunity to someone to uh, agree and uh, get the vision and want to help promote and celebrate like your direction and what you're trying to do. So I knew I was a perfect fit uh, in the in the mall. And now you're going to have a chance to grow. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Eric, you. for being here. Heather and AJ, I'll go ahead and send it back to you. I, I just love the story of him starting up the shop, moving into this bigger space, but also supporting the dreams of others. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about, helping her, Clara, live her dream out, too. Yeah, it's, it's good great stuff. to see Eric in the next part of yeah. this journey. Yeah. All right, Jella, thank you.